afternoon and welcome to the 2023 Fairfax County Public Schools 6th grade All-County Chorus Festival. My name is Pamela Wilson. I am the president of the Fairfax General, Ed General Music Educators Association. I teach general music and chorus at Cherry Run Elementary in Burke. <laughs> it is my honor and privilege on behalf of the Fine Arts Office and FGMEA to welcome you to today's concert. Before our concert begins, I ask that you please turn your electronics, whatever might be a noisemaker, to silent, or airplane mode maybe, or even turn them off altogether. What? <laughs> trust me, trust me, your social media will be waiting for you when we get back, and the first thing you're going to want to post is about the hashtag best concert ever. <laughs> Besides, what you're about to experience cannot be simulated on electronics anyway. Few children in other parts of Virginia, let alone the rest of the country, have the opportunity to participate in an arts event such as this one of over 600 very talented singers. This festival showcases these amazing children and it is one of the reasons why Fairfax County is a national leader in music education. Some of our performers today have created beautiful artwork that is in your program today, so feel free to take a look through that. And here are the students who featured that, who have been featured. Please hold your applause until I've read all of their names. Aminata Kamara from Coates Elementary. Eldana, <laughs> Eldana Kibret from Keen Mill Elementary. Elizabeth Lee from Powell Elementary. Karina Hale from Coates Elementary. Shiloh Klon from Colvin Run Elementary and Zamaya Mendez from Mantua. If you are in this room, you probably know that music learning has many benefits. According to the National Association for Music Education, participation in music helps develop language, reasoning skills, and memorization, improves math skills, improves intellectual curiosity and creativity. And can we talk about mental health? We know that music can help our young people to stay engaged in school, have a sense of achievement and self-confidence, take safe and responsible risks, process and express their emotions, and find a sense of community, and maybe, most importantly, relax and have fun. Music is powerful, powerful enough to change moods and engage minds. It reaches across cultures, language barriers, and other differences to connect us and give us common ground. FCPS understands how important music is, not just as an add-on, but as a core class required for every student. It is very important that we continue to preserve opportunities for our students to experience deep thinking, connections with others, and passions for music. All of this cannot happen without the help of many. And the first people that I want to thank is the families of our students. <laughs> you recognize what your child has to gain and make the necessary sacrifices, like getting to rehearsal, finding something to wear, making sure they know their music, and generally supporting them in their learning. Thank you for all you do for music education in Fairfax County Schools. Wow. 
It takes a village both to raise a child and also to run a choral festival. Thank you first to all of our music teachers. You have spent hours and hours, often on a volunteer basis, to make sure your students are prepared for today and ready to go. Your dedication to music and choral arts is seen and appreciated. Thank you to the board members of the Fairfax General Music Educators Association. FGMEA co-sponsors this festival with the Fine Arts Office. Your loving guidance, board of directors, and your leadership and many volunteer hours are what make this event even possible. Please stand, board members, to be recognized. Now, two people in particular eat, sleep, and breathe all county chorus for the entire year, and that is our two festival co-chairs, co Laura Dinkoff from Coates Elementary and Ben Whalen Morin from Riverside Elementary. You have spent countless, countless hours laboring over every single detail, and your leadership, I'm going to cry already, your leadership and work ethic and dedication are much, much appreciated. Please stand to be recognized. <laughs> And I can't walk away without acknowledging one more person. When I first started in Fairfax County back in 1996, think about if you were born then, Jeanette Essig was a colleague teacher. I remember hearing that she taught band as well as general music and I thought that was pretty cool. Many years later, after being away from Fairfax County, who was my contact when I wanted to come back and teach here? But Jeanette Essig in the Fine Arts Office. She invited me to come back and fulfill a teaching position while someone was out on maternity leave. I was honored to be back in this community of amazing music teachers, some of the best on the planet. After 35 years in Fairfax County and 13 years, I think, in as an educational specialist, Jeanette Essig is retiring this year. Exactly, that's how we feel too. <laughs> My dear friend, thank you for everything that you have done for us. Please stand to be recognized. to the really, really good stuff. We have, to, not that that wasn't already awesome. We have two outstanding professional musicians leading us in today's concert. Our accompanist is Mr. Eric Wagoner, and let me tell you a little about Mr. Wagoner. He's a collaborative pianist, music director, vocal coach, and music educator. He earned an artist diploma and master's degree in collaborative piano from Shenandoah Conservatory of Music. He has served as music director for Loud and Lyric Opera, as well as assistant music director and vocal coach for the American Singers Opera Project. As a member of the Nova Trio, he was a national chamber music finalist in the MTNA competition in New York City in 2012. Mr. Wagoner is currently the music director at Darnstown Presbyterian Church and also a private music instructor at the National School of Music. Mr. Wagoner. Our guest conductor today is Dr. Emily Williams Birch. Dr. Birch began teaching in 2007, including directing community choirs, teaching public schools, training in professional development settings, and as a professor at the university level. Currently the coordinator of music education and professor of music at Savannah Technical College, Dr. Birch is also the founder and artistic director of Rise Corrales and Rise Outreach, a community music and choir organization in Savannah, Georgia. On the side, Dr. Birch is an active clinician and serves as chair for the ACDA National Standing Committee for Advocacy and Collaboration. She is a published author, co-writing the book, The Business of Choir in 2022, and has been the creator and host of the Music Ed Matters podcast since 2020. Dr. Birch. 
And finally, <laughs> it is my... <laughs> And finally, it is my great pleasure to introduce our superintendent of Fairfax County Schools, Dr. Michelle Reed. <laughs> Whew, I think they really enjoy the conductor. So um, good afternoon, Fairfax County singers. Hello this afternoon. <laughs> And all of our fine arts fans, thank you families and friends for joining us this afternoon. It's a fabulous way to spend a Virginia Saturday, um, particularly with uh, the University of Maryland women uh, going to their Elite Eight for the first time, right? <laughs> so, uh, good job, Terrapins. All right, um, I'd like to introduce some of our central office staff who have joined us this afternoon. We're thrilled to have our Chief Experience and Engagement Officer, Ms. Lisa Youngblood Hall, here with us. Um, and we have three of our assistant superintendents for our different regions, Dr. Fabio Zuluaga. Dr. Grace Taylor. And Dr. Becky Bainig. We also have our executive principal for Region 4, Lisa Riddell, who's here joining us. And our director of K-12 curriculum and instruction, Colleen Eddy, is here this afternoon. I'd also like to ask all of our elementary school principals or assistant principals who are here to stand and be recognized. It is, uh, we are an incredibly blessed uh, division by the strength of our leadership team. So I just really want to thank all those who took time to support our teachers and our young musicians today. I really want to make sure that we understand that we have over 676 graders, that's almost a whole school, um, from 101 of our different elementary schools participating, and I know they've been working really hard for this day. It's our first day back in person person um, since the COVID experience and we're so excited to be together. We know learning happens best in community and the lessons that our young people learn in whatever activity are the lessons that stay with them the rest of their lives. I now want to make sure that we thank all of our teachers who have participated in supporting music and fine and performing arts education to please stand and be recognized. Never has the power of public education been more important than it is today. In this era of interconnected cultures and high technology, music education continues to provide a powerful means of connecting our young people in learning and approving their student achievement. We know that students involved in the fine and performing arts achieve stronger academically as well. Participating in music programs is core instruction and core to a world-class education here. Even though I myself personally was never a choir member, and my children can attest that they ask us to roll the windows up in the car if I start singing um, in case somebody might overhear me in a stop sign. I do value the skills and really applaud and I'm looking forward to hearing the performance this afternoon. I want to also remind us that Fairfax County has consistently been named as one of the best communities in the country for music education by the National Association of Music Merchants. So well done, Fairfax County. So, it's 
It's my great pleasure at this time to introduce our school board chair, Ms. Rachna Sizemore-Heiser, to introduce our board members and get us started. Ms. Sizemore-Heiser. Thank you, everybody, and thank you, especially students. I love the applause with your feet. That is awesome. I can't wait to hear you sing, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. On behalf of the Fairfax County School Board, I'm proud to say a few words, and I'm even more excited, as I know my colleagues are, to hear the beautiful voices we will hear in a few minutes. Before I get started, I want to introduce my fellow colleagues who are here today. Mr. Carl Frisch, who represents the Providence District on the school board. And Ms. Elaine Tolan, who represents the Drainsville District on the school board. I will not speak long because the, the thing that we're all here for are right behind us, and I really want to hear their voices and, more, and not just their feet, so I'm really excited for that part. Um, but I just wanted to say that as a parent of a musician, as a parent of a child for whom chorus and guitar and band was where he found his people, where he found his tribe, where he found his friendships, and how he survived and thrived in school and who is now studying music in college, there is nothing more important, I think, than academics and our music, arts. That's all part of it, right? Because music brings us joy. Music brings us together. If you think about it, during COVID, we could survive. But how much worse would our world have been without the arts? without the books, the music, the TV shows, the movies. We all can survive, but how well would we thrive without music? So I am thrilled. Thank you to our music educators and the principals and APs who support them, to our leadership team who supports music education. Thank you to our parents and families who support music education. And thank you. Thank you to our children who help us thrive through your beautiful voices. Thank you.
They're mighty incredible. Thank you so much for being here. That first song you heard was by Jocelyn Hagen. It was called, I Started Out Singing. And we went right into Dreamkeeper because that's the goal of the music today. When we got to sit down and plan the music, which is so cool, your co-coordinators and your chair actually make sure that we pick music that works for your community. My biggest goal was that they would have dreams that could live on forever and that they would have these tunes and these songs and these memories to get to wherever they want to go in life. And y'all are going far, you already know that. This next song is in a foreign language, it's called Amani, and it means sing strongly for peace, sing for peace throughout the world, thank you for helping me, and with one voice we sing together. Yes, give it up. This is Amani by Jim Papoulis. features a bunch of our student instrumentalists. We would not have been made possible without the awesome help of our ORF teachers. ORF teaches so much about independence and musicianship and we get to sing a song arranged by one of our very own Fairfax retired teachers. I'll introduce him later. But we are so excited to present to you Jenny Jenkins and our student ORF Orchestra.
We talked a lot about doing hard things. Being attentive for two days in choir rehearsals with this is a lot. I make them work really hard. But you know what, they did it. And so yesterday, I kept telling them, I'm so proud of you, you can do hard things. And then we had this moment where we got a little bit of L-A-Z-Y, it's okay, we fixed it. And we came back today, and I said, don't wish for the hard things to be over. Be present in that moment, because that's when you can finish and look back and say, oh my gosh, look what we did together. And so that song is something I hope sticks with them forever. Find your place where you can, don't be scared to think about the things and process the things. But it sets us up for this last set of songs. You're about to hear a Brazilian circle dance. It's called Menina. And it's kind of one of those songs that the guy's like, hey, I like you, you should give me a chance. I mean, it might not work out and you might break your heart, but still, we'll have fun in the process. But it's one of those life lessons. You have to be willing to put yourself on the line. And these young people have put themselves out there. They are singing with their whole heart, body, mind, and soul, if you can't tell. And we're having a lot of fun. Wish you could be up here, but I hope you're getting a good time too. So we have Menina, a brilliant Brazilian circle song followed by Feel Good. I hope you enjoy.
told you they were incredible. That's because they came very well prepared and my only job was to make magic happen that would entertain you. I think it worked. Do you think it worked? Yeah. Good job. A quick thank you, Laura, Ben, you guys are rock stars. Doing this everywhere across the country, I do not often come across people like you. And this event is an absolute machine of awesomeness. You guys should be insanely proud of everything that they did. Jeanette, all of the coordinators that I met, Katrina and Luke, thank you so much for giving of your time. I've never in my whole life been to an honor choir with this many principals or admins. So wow, thank you so much for being here. Y'all, I've always wanted a band. You fulfilled my life dreams. You were the best triangle player I've ever imagined. I've just always wanted a band. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being present, for playing and making this the most awesome experience. Thank you, Eric, for being an incredible collaborative pianist. I swear he has the hardest job. He has to know where I'm going before I even know where I'm going, and he always got there. It was amazing. Dr. Cloth and Cheryl and all the teachers that put together the Orph Ensemble, thank you for bringing Jenny Jenkins to life. That was so much fun, and I really appreciated everything. Dr. Cloth, are you in the building? Let's give you a, a Oh, there you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Andrew and your entire sound team, I know the sound people don't normally like all the recognition, but y'all, they wouldn't have even heard me if you didn't exist. So thank you for taping down all the chords. Thank you for the Britney Spears mic all week long. Thank you for the handheld now and for making it sound really good. Give it up for Andrew and the sound crew. We had MCs, we had row captains, we had people that were on committees for like chairs and stuff. It was amazing. Thank you to every teacher for your hard work preparing and organizing and being willing to do this music that I gave you. I know it's hard, but I did that on purpose to you. And you totally met the bar and surpassed it. So in case no one has told you today, music teachers, the world is better because you are in it. You can also do hard things and you do them very well obviously. So thank you, music teachers. All right, this is it, I promise. Thank you for having children and for driving them and going to the dropout line. I'm so thankful for your kids. This has been one of the most fun things I've done, and I've been to a lot of these. I think this is 34, and I really appreciate this one so much. I feel like I have found my people. So I've had a blast with you. I hope you have too. I didn't want to forget anything, so I wrote it down. Thank you for showing up the entire time we were together with smiles and with eyebrow push-ups and with great foggy windows and with some of the best vowels ever. Can we just show them a couple of our quick little tricks? Okay. So if I go, ah, 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 ah. Aren't those beautiful vowels? Yeah, okay. Should we give them one more? Ooh, oh, one, two, ready. wait to see you do really cool things and I'm really thankful for every second we've had I want you to remember above everything else that this is your